this weekend will be 21 years since terrorists hijacked three planes on 9-11 and dramatically changed America's sense of security. The widow of one of the people who died aboard Flight 93, bound for San Francisco, has just written a book that shares his long road battling depression and trauma. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie sat down with Jack Grancolas to share his story. The granite marker at the Flight 93 Memorial in Union City is engraved Lauren Grancolas, an unborn child. Lauren was just three months along when the hijackers crashed the plane she was on into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, killing 40 passengers and crew members. Jack Grancolas, who was home that day in Marin County, decided he wanted to write a book dedicated to the boy or girl who would have been the couple's first child. I'll never have full closure. I'll always have the scar on my heart. But it's, um, it's certainly a way for me to do something to memorialize the unborn child. Titled Like a River to the Sea, the book describes his years of depression and post-traumatic stress, then the therapy that later enabled him to let go of his wife's and child's ashes. I was holding on to him because it was the only tangible DNA I had of the unborn child. So it allowed me to release those ashes in a beautiful place. She just wanted me to know how much she loved me. And she wanted to make sure that I let her family know how much she loved them. And she said goodbye. Initially, Grant Cola says he was withdrawn, but then was convinced to go to a holiday party where he met actor Sean Penn, whose friendship was a turning point. Sean's got a big heart, and he's a, a very passionate man in everything that he does, and is uh, quite intelligent, but uh, his, his compassion is, is more than evident by the way he treated me. Today, Grant Colas is remarried to artist Sarah Hopkins, who wears Lauren's wedding ring, which had been at the jewelers on 9-11. First Jack and now both say Lauren continues to speak to them with advice, encouragement, and support. Comes to you in the moment you least expect it, um, but it's a beautiful thing. Grant Colas hopes his book, detailing his difficult journey, will help others deal with a sudden loss, such as a loved one to COVID, and to deal with a generation lost because of an unexpected death. So it is a generational book in a way because it's it's a love letter to the to the generation that would have been in their 20s now. Including Lauren and Jack's unborn child. David Louie, ABC 7 News. And on Sunday, you'll find a collection of historic footage from 9-11 on our website, abc7news.com, and on our ABC 7 Bay Area streaming TV app.